I'm uh, Daj Ayala. People call me Dio. I'm the Madison County Emergency Management and Homeland Security Director. My job is the, it's the prevention, uh, mitigation, response to any sort of natural disaster or hazards approach. From a tornado, to a flood, to terrorism, it's my agency's job to make sure that we have a plan in place to mitigate that and then recover you know, with the community, whatever that might be. Uh, I joined the military, I was in the military. That's how I kind of where it started. Uh, I was in the Navy. And then 9-11 happened, I worked for a company and uh, I was in New Jersey at the time. So um, I helped with that recovery there. And I was like, this is kind of cool. Then I just kept going with it and going with it. And 20 years later, here I am. I will say Dio's been in his position for the three years now. He sat us down and immediately had an emergency plan. So he has been already mindful of you know, snowstorms. If a tornado would hit, he had some type of plan already in place. It was a well-oiled machine as far as getting out in the community and really advocating for, you know, what are the things that people don't want to think about. That day was unseasonably warm for a March day. Prior to that, about two or three days beforehand, I was on the phone with the Weather Service. So anytime it's a really big event, the Weather Service will reach out and say, hey, heads up, we're, we're seeing some things. And there's like a 5% chance of a tornado um, in, in Madison County. So that day I, um, sent out a notification, said, hey, just heads up, you know, it's a possibility, but severe weather definitely, but, you know, there's always hail and wind and that nature. About 3.30, I got a call from the Weather Service saying that there was a tornado that was spot. They, they, they thought a tornado was going to hit Maxburg, which is one of our smaller towns in our county. It wound up becoming an EF4 tornado. It was 900 yards or 800 yards long, and it was 170 miles per hour when it hit Panama Park, which is right in, inside of our county. Um, because of its vast speed and its strength, it, I mean, it decimated Carver Road, which is where a lot of people, where we have the most casualties. We had someone who lost her husband, uh, who got her into a bathtub and was on top of her. She had a broken leg and couldn't move. At the next house, we had uh, a husband who survived, whose wife was sucked out the back of the house. Um, I mean, it was devastation on that road. I decided to start heading in that direction to see what I can do. And when I got out of my car, I was able to see the devastation. People are, you know, there's debris and trees and people bleeding. It was it was pretty, uh, a pretty intense sight. He actually took a victim to the hospital just to get them medical help. And someone says, hey, there's a fatality and someone's hurt, we need help, we need help. And the deputy was there to secure that scene. The two firefighters are kind of trying to secure the scene as well. So I said, I'll go because I, mean, I, I can go. I got up this hill and I saw this man and he was, you know, like he was, he was, he was covered in blood. He was in bad shape. I called for help, but of course everyone again is, is getting a lot of crosstalk. A lot of things are happening. I decided, you know what, I, I gotta, I gotta take him because I, I didn't, I didn't know the extent of his injuries, but I knew he was in bad shape. That day we were back home in Texas. And we got a call from my cousin, who said that, you know, my uncle's house had been hit by the tornado and that my uncle was in the hospital. The next day, I reached out to an email that I had seen in one of the articles that I had read to see if my uncle would qualify for any services or any help. The person who called me back um, was Dio. He introduced himself. He said that he was from Emergency Management Services and that he had gotten an, um, our email and wanted to know, you know what the situation was. And so I told him the story and I said, here's what I know. Um, and I started explaining to him, and I said, I know that he was taken to the hospital, and Dio just stopped, and he goes, oh my gosh, your uncle's Tom Lloyd? The thing about that was, I know him from Hy-Vee, so he was a Hy-Vee manager, and he always would say like, hey kiddo, like to everybody, he was like, the, everyone loved him, but he was in such bad shape, I didn't recognize him. When I was, you know, on the phone, and I immediately just sat down and, almost started to cry and just kept saying, oh my gosh, thank you. And of course, Dio's so humble that he kept going, oh, it's no big deal, <laughs> no big deal. If I had a time machine, I'd be like, no tornadoes. Um, but I felt like I just did my job that day to help uh, people. Um, I mean, that's, that's how, I, how I operate. You know, he was there on site with our police and fire as well. Um, assessing the damage, helping a victim of the tornado. And even after the tornado, he has consistently stayed in touch with those affected. He's gone above and beyond his job description.
and I told him we were coming up the following day. We walked in and saw him and went, wow, <laughs> he's a big guy. Whenever we come up, we see Dio. Whether we have lunch or he comes over to the house or whatever it is, um, him and I check on each other and just, you know, I ask him how he's doing and he asks how I'm doing and checks on the family. We've just become really good friends. To me it's important, right, because you don't heal in a day, right? This is stuff that is generational, it's stuff that's gonna stay on people's minds. And I wanted to make the, let them know that I want to make sure they're okay. The amazing thing about him is that he will say he's just doing his job. And I know every person who's probably sitting in this chair that gets this award will say that, and that's what I love about this award is no one is actively seeking to get this recognition, but they certainly deserve to sit in this chair and receive it. What one person just feels like is something that they just did means everything to somebody else. Um, and it meant everything to us. Dio really is a hero to us, he really is.